Hi guys, I'm very glad to welcome you again on our channel. If you want to know what Tether is, then you are watching the right video. We will explain in understandable language how it works and why Tether now occupies a leading position in the cryptocurrency rating. If you want to know how people make millions of dollars with it and why this cryptocurrency is so popular, then watch our video till the end. And of course, do not forget to subscribe to our channel. So let's start. Tether is the world's most popular stablecoin. As such, it serves multiple purposes in the market, making it the main cryptocurrency in many investor strategies. While it's impossible to imagine the cryptocurrency market without Tether, it wasn't always this way. The Tether project caused a lot of controversy and took first place. Tether is currently helping to provide liquidity and hedge against market volatility. It can accomplish this task because it is known as a Stablecoin. Stablecoins are blockchain tools whose value is tied to external commodities. The benefits these coins bring to the market are undeniable. Firstly, their stability helps to reduce the volatility of cryptocurrencies in general. Investors rely on stablecoins as a way to avoid bear markets without converting funds back to fiat currencies. In most stablecoin scenarios, the value of the token will be backed to the fiat currency. In the case of Tether, USDT shares its value with the US dollar. Basically, $1 is worth 1 USDT. In addition, anyone can redeem their $1 fiat currency at anytime through Tether Unlimited. Tether is the first company in the world to create a platform where it combined the functions of cryptocurrencies and fiat. The Tether project works on blockchain technology. The Tether developers took the Bitcoin blockchain for their project, so it's completely protected. The history of Tether begins with the RealCoin project. RealCoin entered the market through its white paper in July 2014. The white paper caused a huge stir in the community for several reasons. In addition to revolutionary technical aspects, the names of the newspaper's publisher are among the most respected in the market. Specifically, the Tather's white paper list co-founders Brooke Pierce, Ravi Collins and Craig Sellers. Interestingly, the name RealCoin did not last long. In November 2014, the Santa Monica startup decided it was time to introduce a new name, Tather. Notably, Tether entered the market with a three-branched approach. The platform has introduced three stablecoins as a part of its entry strategy. The first coin was US Tether. The token has been pegged one-to-one to US dollar. The value of the second coin is pegged to the euro, and the last coin is pegged to the Japanese yen known as Yen Tether. Bitfinex became the first exchange to introduce Tether to its platform in January 2015. Stablecoins were instantly successful. The exchange saw huge user activity in relation to this token. As a result, Bitfinex has become the leading exchange in terms of Tether trading. Researchers soon began to question Tether's solvency. It was the first stablecoin on the market and its unprecedented success has not been overlooked. The meaning of the creation of the USDT cryptocurrency is that unlike others, its value is provided not only by supply and demand, but also partially by the stock of the US dollars. By providing the value of the coin with the fight money, its volatility is reduced in comparison with Bitcoin, Ethereum and other unsecured counterparts. This quality is both an advantage and disadvantage of stablecoin. After all, less volatility means less opportunities for intraday trading and the opportunity to make money on the rise of the rate, as well as less investment potential, but at the same time, lower risks. However, the USDT cryptocurrency also boasts that it is anonymous and decentralized. It is an alternative to classic fiat currencies and digital currencies, as it combines the properties of both. In the Tether service confirmation system, the amount of USDT in circulation can be easily verified on the Bitcoin blockchain using the tools provided by Omnichess.info, which corresponds to the total amount of US dollars held in reserve, which in turn is confirmed by publishing the balance on the account of Tether Limited and periodic checks carried out by specialists. The amount of USDT in circulation can be checked. The volume of USDT in circulation at any given time can be designated as TUSD. 
the volume of USDT in circulation must always match the volume of USD in Tether limited accounts in order to receive and send FIAT currency to users who buy or sell USDT cryptocurrency directly through the Tether platform. USDT can be transferred, stored, spent like bitcoins or any other cryptocurrency. Users can transfer and store Tether cryptocurrency using any wallet that supports Omni Lawyer, such as MB Safe, Holler Transaction, or Omni Wallet. Tether has also developed a web wallet and mobile app that is as user friendly as possible. Thanks to these tools, customers are able to store, send, and receive cryptocurrency. In addition, the system can send and receive payments to other web wallets of the project as well as to Bitcoin wallets that support the company. Clients can replenish their wallet and withdraw funds by bank transfer in USD. Cryptocurrency exchange can be done on various services. As a rule, you can make an exchange instantly and without commissions by choosing the most attractive rate. The minimum deposit amount is 1 USDT or 1 EURT. A commission of 1 USDT or 1 EURT is charged for this operation. The minimum amount that a user can withdraw is 1 USD or 1 EURO. It is important to note that there is no commission for withdrawing funds. A significant advantage of using cryptocurrency is the high speed of both sending and receiving funds. The company's activities are provided by the secure platform platform. The conversion of cryptocurrency can be done both online and using mobile wallets. Forwarding is done through a peer-to-peer -peer network. When considering which blockchain to hold USDT on, it's important to note that over 68% of USDT tokens exist as ERC-20 tokens. This affects liquidity pools, wallet storage, trading volume, and ease of existing USDT. Each trader has different needs with regard to accessibility, security, and privacy. The custodial option is to hold USDT on an exchange like Bybit, which allows traders to have instant access to trading opportunities so that the trader can quickly open and close positions. The trade-off is that users can sacrifice privacy and control over security for convenience. A non-custodial storage option like Shapeshift and non-custodial decentralized exchange provides the trader with smaller pools of liquidity, so the option to open and close positions still exists, but with increased price slippage. However, it gives users security and trust compared to custodian exchange. Another choice a trader makes with regard to storage is the choice between hot and cold storage. Hot storage is the use of a web wallet where applications are directly connected to the internet. Cold storage involves the use of hard hardware wallets and paper wallets like Ledger and Trezor, which provides forms of maximum privacy and security but lack the trading benefits provided by major exchanges. Some trading platforms like Bybit use more advanced institutional-grade cold storage solutions. Thus, the Tether cryptocurrency is the virtual currency that is tied to real currency. The main tens of stable quotes and other benefits provided by Tether make its reliable option for both individuals and companies. So guys, this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. If you still have any questions, please ask them in our comment section below this video. Have a great day, stay safe, see you soon, bye!